Now, this is where I come in. Canadian strip clubs versus United States strip clubs. <laughs> okay. Here we go. The had the had one legged stripper with a glass eye and lisp. What strip club has a stripper with one leg? And a glass eye. Which strip club was that? Detroit? They had that stripper in Detroit? Okay, so here we go. This is why Canadian strip clubs are the best strip clubs in all of America. Canada has the best strip clubs. If you want to go to a really good strip club, you don't go on the West Coast, okay? For example, if you go to Alberta and Vancouver... And you go to their strip clubs. <laughs> LOL. My way of saying the club we went to had some lame dancers. Yeah, yeah, true, true. But if you go on the West Coast, Vancouver, Alberta, they do a thing called... They, they throw loonies and toonies at the strippers. So it basically looks like a stoning. It's like a medieval times stoning at these strippers okay they flick coins at them like no tomorrow on the west coast they are just coin flicking all right they just go bam 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 ba bam bam ba bam stone 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 it's insane my friend was telling me he went to a strip club in calgary and in calgary he walked in and guys had bags of loonies and toonies and they just start pelting people with loonies and toonies okay with loonies and toonies so they're basically left with bruises all over themselves at the end of the night which is shitty now east coast ontario there's a strip club in niagara falls called the sundowner strip club honestly the best strip club out of all of canada is there uh this is my argument why that strip club's so amazing. In the past, Floyd Mayweather did a promotion for his boxing event. Floyd Money Mayweather did a boxing pay-per-view in Toronto. And the pre-party the night before was booked not in Toronto. No. No. In Sundowner, in Niagara Falls, was the pay-per-view pre-party with Floyd Mayweather in the strip club. Which means, guess what? Shit show. Shit show in the strip club. Christy Mack has guest stripped in that strip club before. Kendra Sutherland, who's famous as the library masturbating girl, just hosted in Sundowner. Sundowner is the best. $20 lap dances, big catwalk. You could touch them. You can ask for lesbian shows. You, It's a free for all. My friend literally got his belt ripped off of him. The stripper pulled down his pants and started whipping him in the ass with his own belt in the strip club. I have also seen guys almost get their nose broken in the strip club where girls just ram their buttholes in their faces. And so much more. Now, American strip clubs. I've been to a couple. And in the States, in these American strip clubs, was entertaining, but shit. Entertaining, but shit. So, the only good one was in Atlanta. I went to Magic City Strip Club, which is the second best strip club. Okay? That was the second best strip club I've ever been to in my life. Go Sundowner, number one. Magic City, number two. So, when we went to Atlanta, they told us to go to a, go to a strip club called... Oh, fuck me. The, Claremont. Claremont Strip Club, which is like in a basement of a hotel. And guess what? The bar is all covered in duct tape and cushion. 
there's a bullshit little stage in the middle in between the circle bar so the girls were dancing like five feet away from you on this uh bullshit little stage and they weren't even dancing and it was so shitty that they had to put money in the jukebox for their own music to dance to now when you go to sundown or niagara falls you could literally lay down with a five dollar bill in your mouth and they'll ride your face and take the money from your mouth you know there's a big difference there's also a strip club in bear fact it's called bear facts in ottawa that was fucking awesome but i was way too drunk to even process what was happening in that strip club but the claremont was like a ghetto ghetto bullshit ghetto strip club ghetto as fuck ghetto as fuck it was like wow this is like wow wow so we went to magic city after which was insane see that's the one thing in the states they do better than in Canada with strip clubs. They have like strip club dance teams. They literally have like teams. They have three chicks on one pole and one chick's like 15 feet in the fucking air and they're like on top of each other dancing and naked shaking their asses and shit. And the cool thing was in Magic City was if you wanted a picture with a stripper, you could take a picture with a stripper. They were not opposed to have phones they didn't care they were just like yeah you want a picture no problem no problem so you know and then the worst was we went to new orleans we went to bourbon street we went to scores we went to scores but this is the one thing weird in the united states you have strip club chains you have like like chain strip clubs, Rick's Cabaret, Scores, Hustler. They're all over the place. You have chain strip clubs. In Canada, you don't have chain strip clubs. It's one sound, Sundowner, the best downer, only in Niagara Falls. So I we went to a Scores in New Orleans on Bourbon Street. And we go in. They have like a drink special. So we get the drink special. And the chick comes up and she's like, do you want to dance? We're like, well, how much do you charge here she said forty dollars a song american uh, i rather you grab a machete and circumcise me on the spot than pay forty dollars a fucking song i would not pay forty fucking dollars a song no fuck that she said the special was forty dollars for one song or three songs for a hundred dollars and i'm just like i've never seen such high prices in a strip club ever in my life and i was basically like we're fucking leave this strip club right now fuck this strip club most clubs here in the u.s are starting to lean towards gentlemen's clubs high money vip clubs Forty dollars was cheap. Forty dollars is not cheap. That's not cheap. <laughs> Magic City was twenty dollars a song, but the problem with Magic City was there's no back rooms. They literally just start getting naked and dancing on top of you, like right there, right on the bar. So you're like, this is a crazy ass fucking party. And then. Uh, and then in Sundowner, it's just $20 a dance, no matter what. I'm Only if there's a like a crazy high-end porn star coming to dance, maybe she'll charge $50 a song, but that's it. You could drop a grand in an hour at any strip club here in the U.S. I know. I watched my friend do that in Magic City. My friend in Magic City dropped like $1,500 when we went to Magic City because he decided to buy, buy three bottles of champagne and he was just throwing money at girls telling them telling them to dance for me. 10 k if you're drinking too. So what, you're telling me you dropped 10 k at a club? Did you take home like seven strippers after dropping 10 k That'd be insane, dropping 10 grand at a strip club. Me, yeah, I'm asking you. You're the one that wrote 10K. 
Hell no. Yeah, exactly. Hell 